humans are very unique. Of all the species on the planet that are viviparous, that give birth to live young, um, humans are pretty much the only ones that have a problem of preterm birth. One of the uh, leading hypotheses for that is that we stood up in our evolution, we became bipedal, and that effect of becoming an obligate biped, we walk upright, was to decrease the size of the pelvis through which the baby needs to be born. Then in our evolution, we decided, or evolution decided, that having a big brain would be a benefit. And so we ended up uh, selecting for babies with bigger and bigger heads. One of the, the things that I'm fascinated in is the evolutionary biology of human parturition, of human birth timing, because it seems like humans have shortened their length of gestation. So we give birth to very immature babies compared to other primates. And in that process of shortening the gestation, in order to get that big-headed baby through that small birth canal, um, we had to change the mechanism for that timing process. Well, we're trying to understand how the engine of birth is controlled. And the baby is growing in, in, that, in that womb, in that uterus, for nine months. And then all of a sudden, it becomes this very angry muscle that contracts very hard and tries to push out the baby. And so we're understanding what controls the contractility or the, 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 that, the, the ability of the uterus to contract. We're hoping to have, number one, understood what keeps the uterus quiet for most of pregnancy so the baby can grow. Um, and then by understanding that process, we can design therapeutic strategies to make that process actually more effective. I think the, the reason I got into um, physiology was because we were, number one, on the leading edge. I mean, nobody else was doing the, the stuff that we were doing when I was a graduate student, and that was exciting. With the, the advent of, of sequencing technologies where we can look at how our genome evolved, it is an, it's, it's a brave new world of stepping into asking how did we get here and how did that process of us getting here affect our current physiology and can we fix it?